What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today I'm going to be making music from scratch with Scalar 2 by Plugin Boutique. They released this somewhat recently. It's got a bunch of updates and uh, they are sponsoring this video, but I'm genuinely excited to give this a go. Scalar gives you all the tools you need for songwriting, for uh, discovering new chord progressions, scales in a bunch of different styles that are kind of used predominantly in a bunch of different styles. And the way I'm going to be using it here is I've got my MIDI keyboard here. I'm gonna essentially split this in half. So this side will be one finger chords. So you hold down one key, it plays a preset chord that you can do a bunch of tweaking to to customize, and I'll get into that in a second. And then this half will be key locked to a given scale. And so I'm going to kind of ignore what this looks like because that's gonna become somewhat irrelevant because this will end up getting um, assigned to whatever scale I'm working with. So let me just dive in and actually demonstrate a bit of that. So I can go into scales. I've got a ton to choose from. And they even give little descriptions of the vibe that is kind of suggested by that scale. And within that, there'll be some chords as well. Or you can go to songs and they've got a bunch of stuff that's kind of handpicked as starting points. So maybe I'll go into, I was digging the Neo Soul one, so let me pick a random one. And the way I can set this up is go to these chords here, turn this on, and then make sure I turn on key lock. So now, one key can trigger an entire chord that are within the song that this is pulled from. And then this, see how these keys both trigger the same note. That's part of the key lock. So what I can do is play chords with my left hand, play a melody with my right hand and noodle around until I come up with something. And this is great for breaking you out of a rut. I've definitely been finding myself in a bit of a creative rut lately, not with regards to timbre characteristics, because I've been listening to a lot of music and a lot of different styles. So I've got ideas for days in terms of sound design and the texture of something. But melodically, I've kind of found myself treading and retreading the same territory a lot lately. So this is something that will help break out of that. And that's what I've already experienced by using it for just like an hour. And that's what I hope to demonstrate further. Another thing I can do is modify the way these chords are set up. For instance, I've been digging, going from triads to say sevenths or elevenths. I like that one quite a bit. Maybe I'll mix it up. Let's try a completely different uh, song basis. I've still got the set to 11th, so maybe dial that back to 7th. And this is kind of the suggested order that they have the chord progression in, so I can mess around with that as well. a little latency on my keyboard. So what I can actually do now is record that. And there are a couple ways you can do that. First of all, you can do it within the plugin itself. We've got a ton of sounds to deal with. So let's actually try one. Maybe we'll go with that. That's kind of tight. So that's our first loop right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this so that it'll keep all the settings the same, but then get rid of this MIDI. That way I can just focus on coming up with some sort of melody. Okay, so that's a start. That recorded super messy, but once I clean this up a bit, hopefully you'll get the idea.
So I can even take that further. I love where this is going. So I can modify this MIDI somewhat. So maybe I have that jump up here. So what I'm really digging about this is the fact that it forces you to go by ear, not necessarily by what seems right, if that makes sense. Like adhering to good music theory practice is really important. I don't wanna discount that by any stretch, but I definitely like that this emphasizes using your ear and um, kind of going with a more free flowing way of creativity. So let me hear what's going on with this melody and see if I can come up with like a second half. So this needs to be a complete switch up right here. much more like it. So as an inspiration machine, not in that it does the work for you, but in that it forces you out of your typical patterns and song ideas, I legitimately like this quite a bit. I will happily recommend it just for the chords and key locking alone. So let's try and find something else. Maybe go into jazz. So that's your second half of the progression. I made a mess of that while recording it, but you'll get the idea once I clean this up. Okay, so here's our cleaned up loop. Super VHS. So let's come back to this. That's another thing you can do on this is get a strum going. So if you go to perform, strumming. Okay, so I actually gotta try this progression on that sound too, cause that's tight. legitimizes, right? Started off as a bit of an accident, but I rolled with it, and now I think it's kind of tight. So, 
That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Plugin Boutique for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check out Scalar 2, which I do recommend, you can click or tap the link in the description. If you'd like to see another video of mine, you can click or tap up over here. And if you'd like a more formal introduction to Scalar 2, you can click or tap down over here. Peace.